Hello there and welcome to the 668th Facebook Live video. I had to get off the 666 as quick as I could. So this is number 668 and my topic for you today is stop lugging around your bags of manure. You might think, what in the hell is he talking about? This guy's supposed to be a sales coach. Well, I'm more than that. I'm a communicator, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a mindset person, I'm a real person, but more important than that, I've learned some really tough lessons in my life. Hey, Penny Kennedy, good to see you, and Janet Claire Paselli, good to see you. This is my bag of manure, guys. And by the way, it's not manure, <laughs> it's rice, but I'm using it as a tool, all right? So, if you, if you are lugging around a bag of manure, what do you think I'm talking about? Okay. The point is this, if you need more motivation, if you're feeling flat as a tack, okay, it's because you probably have lost your vision, you've lost your way, you, you just don't know how to overcome the problems that you're facing at the moment. And we all go through those dark periods, right? And one of the things you need to do, and you might find this very challenging, but I'm asking you to really seriously consider this, okay? What I want you to do is to give up your personal history. This is your personal history. This is your past that we're all lugging around with us, right? And often we get ourselves tied to it and bonded to it, okay? And if we do that, we can't see the future. If we do that, we can't see the opportunities that are right under our darn nose. Yvonne Jones, good to see you. Hey, Bill Pickett, good to see you as well, mate. Just bear with me. If I've missed anybody, I don't know. This bag's getting heavy. Ah, yeah, 668 even, yeah. So what I'm suggesting is this. See this bag of manure, which is called your past? Embrace it, right? Embrace the darn thing. Understand what happened. Understand why it happened. Accept the darn thing, right? Really accept it and then learn from it and then and only then move on and take it and throw it away, <laughs> you need to throw it over the floor, right? What I want you to do is to move into the present, not live in the past. Don't try and think of the future, just think of the now, right now, okay? Because this is the only thing that we can control. And I'm saying this because today I've had discussions with four people who are seeking my help with coaching and all of them are living in the past. And all of them have got mindsets and hang-ups that are preventing them from seeing the real them, from seeing the real value they can impart to others because they're, they're, they're just stopping themselves in their tracks because they're so tied up. Mary Jane Triggs, thank you for joining me, all right? So let's move into the darn present, okay? And, and really, it's not that difficult. One, make the most of today. Today is something you can control, okay? Give as much as you can. Listen as much as you can. Help someone today. It does wonders for your spirit, okay? These are very simple but extremely powerful things. And I want you to try as hard as you can to be honest with yourself. Look back at what you're carrying over your shoulder. And is it fair to you to keep carrying that bag of crap? Your past history. Because if it's not, then I want you to have the intestinal fortitude to face it, accept it, and move on, all right? I want you to treat yourself as if you are already what you'd like to become. That is my very quick message for you today. I hope you really found it helpful because it's from my heart to yours. Because it's, there are many people who are precluding themselves from achieving what they have the absolute right to achieve what they have the opportunity to achieve by simply carrying crap with them, all right? My call to action is this. I want you to message me, because this links with the message I'm giving you. I want you to message me if you'd like to look at a very powerful video I created. It's called How to Get What You Really Want. How to Get What You Really Want. If you're interested, message me on that. Otherwise, thank you very much indeed for sharing your time with me. And remember, stop hanging on to the past. Make the most of today. 
today is very special and every day is special all the best bye for now